Vovo Hey Isa is from Kingston, Jamaica in a small community called Magriga Gully that's found in Vinarton. Ten years of my life I spent in St. Thomas growing up in you know, so that is where the name Isa even come from, you know, just being in St. Thomas and hear people saying, Wow go on, sir, you're good sir, everything sir. So that is where the name Isa came from, you know. Just growing up in Jamaica over the years, you know, um you have so much musicians, so much artists in Jamaica and so much different styles, you know, where I listen so much music and so much different artists it, it come like, whoa, how does this artist think about this? You know and I always sing over people's songs, you know, so that is how I really deliver up a style where I can say this is Isa, you know, and my lyrics come from like natural living, daily living, you know, things that got you, I just sing about them. I never have a musical background, you know, like I never grew up in a musical family, you know, none of my family was musician or artist, but just listening to music, I always want to sing, I always want to write, so I always try, you know. And that is where I grow my um, love for the music. I want to like explore in music, you know. Like growing up, I never listened a lot of reggae music, you know. I would listen more Christian music because like most of my parents' family was like Christian. So like I grew up in a home where I didn't get to listen a lot of reggae music. I didn't get to listen a lot of dancehall music until I start going to school and meet like friends that listen to those kind of music, you know, and that is where I started to listen like different dancehall music, reggae music, but well, the more the music talk to me is the deeper I think, you know, so it's just music and ganja, you know, so more the music talk to me, I just sing and then I'd smoke weed to get more calm and write more constructive music because like when you're in that zone of being in yourself, that is when you bring out the best, you know. Not really say I love it, but I really appreciate Ganja for what Ganja has done over the years, you know, for like me, Ganja put me in a in a, a realm where I understand myself, you know, it gave me that calm side where I can cope around people. I always try to put as much thing about Ganja in my songs, you know, and I did like a whole EP about Ganja, that's how much I really respect Ganja, you know. Not just for saying I'm smoking weed, but I'm um, more teaching people what the plant do and what you can get from smoking this plant. Right now at this moment we don't have any plans for touring, you know, we're just working in the studio building a catalog. So more like next year or mid-year we plan those stuff, but like right now we're really focusing on getting projects done and more constructed work, you know. So that is the plan right now. You know, Natalie just picked me up about an hour ago and like, just pulling up to the car and hearing Issa music playing on the radio I was like, wow, this is what I run up into. So like, we, we are doing a massive takeover right now, locally and internationally, you know. And I feel really happy within myself to know that people really appreciate the music that we're putting out right now, you know, like, run over them is like, a trap that I really love to my heart because like that that's things reality that Issa went through also, you know. Password is a song that I really love also, you know, telling youths to go for them goals, you know, make no one tell them so them can't achieve whatever they want in life. You know, and then big dreams is the next go for your goal song also, you know, like don't let no one tell you so you can't dream, dream as big as you can and try to achieve that, you know. Every day somebody can tweet me and say, yo, big up the artist Isa, bad tune, run over them, password, big dreams, like every day a different radio station, you know, a different zip jack, a different disc jack, you know, so like, I'm really feeling pleased right now to know that they start to shed a little light on Isa music, you know, because like we really put time into creating the music, we not just do slap dash music, you know. Well, my long-term hope is for like getting to enjoy that side with the fans where I can interact with the fans more and see how much they really appreciate Issa music and not just the artists in you know, their life. I want to be able to get as close as possible to my fans without feeling like a superstar.
said I'm true, then I know I not like one time when we did close to death And we found start the best Why I walk? So boy make hype, mix take over them True, then I know, send me one more second